Good afternoon, everyone, and happy hump day. It's Chelsea Whittington, and it's time for another CWIT session. What is a CWIT session? I'm so glad you asked. A CWIT session is a pop-up interview in a surprise location with surprise guests. And surprise, my guests are none other than the Reverend Dr. Wade and his beautiful first lady, Miss El Mrs. Ella Wade. We're here in East Chicago at Zion Missionary Baptist Church. That is correct. And I am so delighted and pleased to meet the two of you for the simple fact that this was a third party introduction by your uh, spiritual son, Apostle Kelly. Yes. And here we are today to talk about some exciting news about the launch of their ministry as well as their books that they have written and one that's getting ready to be launched. So I'm going to start it off with you first lady, Ella okay. Way. Please introduce yourself and just tell our viewers who you are and um, how you came to be the amazing woman you are. Good afternoon. I am honored. We are honored to just be with you. I am Ms. Ella Way, like you said, and I'm the wife of Reverend Dr. J.C. Wade. This ministry has really been a blessing in our lives. And actually the origin of this ministry started at our son, we have a son, mm -hmm. and uh, he passed okay. in 2015. Okay. But I first want to tell you that I am a member of this church. Okay. I want to go there first. Yeah, of course. And I have been a member of this church now for 57 years. Wow. Almost as long as you've been married. The little birdie told me. As long <laughs> with this 45 years pastoring and then 12 years in retirement. That is 57 years. Awesome. And it has been a blessing and still is a blessing. And we are grateful because our son in love is the pastor now. Okay. And our daughter, Sister LaShanta Thompson, is the minister of music here. Well, it's a family affair. It is. And that it means is. nobody can miss church. Everybody has to report <laughs> early true. and stay late. Is that right, Pastor? True. That is true. <laughs> All day, every <laughs> And our pastor's name is Reverend Dr. Charles L. Thompson, okay. Jr. Okay. okay. We want right. you to know that. All right, Pastor And he is Charles a wonderful Thompson. pastor he is. and son. Okay. He as well is. as our daughter and the entire family. That's a that's the both world situation. Isn't it and, wonderful? And then I want to also mention that we, uh, our son name was James Wade the third, yes. the third. But we do have another daughter. Yes. We talked about a daughter that's married to the pastor, mm -hmm. um, Sister Lashanta Thompson. Then we have another one named uh, Camilla Patrice Wade okay. McKinley. Okay. And we have four grandchildren. She's married to a preacher. She's married to a preacher His too. Name is Something Thomas in the water. McKinley. These preachers. <laughs> I love it though. She is. And we have four grandchildren. Rashonda, Sabrina, Charles, and Cameron. And we have three great grandchildren. Braylon, Skyla, and Makai. I think she covered everybody. That is so good because when they watch this, they're going to say, Nana, you didn't name. say my name. Come so on. everybody's yes, covered. Everybody. Everyone is covered. Did I miss anybody? I hope and pray you did not oh, miss anyone. My goodness. <laughs> now, Doctor, yes. uh, you and I talked. I love to talk to my guests off camera to get a little background. Okay. And so I always like to boast, I'm married, I'm married. And then I ask somebody how long they've been married. And then I go in the corner in shame because the two of you have been married. 59 yes. years. And I know wonderful we're here. This wonderful year. Yes. See that, everybody? Wonderful. I'm telling you, wonderful. Oh, look at that. I went straight. I, I'm so <laughs> glad because marriage is one of God's greatest gifts. It is. When we do it right with the right person, right. right? Right. And I know we're talking about the launch of your ministry today and the book that's coming out in uh, October 13th. But I have to go to you, Pastor okay. Emeritus, right. and just say, what was the secret to all of this longevity in Jesus, in love, and in family? Well, one of the things that I always share with people about longevity, first of all, you have to saturate it with prayer. Mm -hmm. Saturate. You have to saturate your marriage and ministry with prayer. Okay. Uh, secondly, you have to be people of the word. You have to base everything that you do on the word. God's word gives us, and I was just sharing earlier 
There's a verse in the Bible that we love to live by. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Yes. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him. He. And he will direct thy path. Not me. Not me. Yeah. He <laughs> will. I got you. And man. when you do that, God is obligated to bless you. Okay. I want you to know that. I believe it. He, he's obligated. I Whenever believe. you put God first, he is obligated to bless you. And that's why uh, and how we've been married these 59 years. And I was here 45 years, been in retirement 12. And that's how we tried to live, yes. by the word of God, and saturate our lives and our marriage in prayer. Well, let me just say that you are indeed an inspiration to me. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure those of you who will be watching this or who are watching this, and let's get into the good part of this. That longevity has led up to quite a few accomplishments, yes. being the books that you all are holding yes. and also the launch of your ministry. Yes. So who wants to jump in and talk about the ministry first? Well, let me just say this. It's not the launch of our ministry. It's the launch of our ministry at Ivy Tech. At Ivy our, Tech. Our ministry is six years old. All right. It okay. has been established, and we are talking about the growth of it. Yes. Right. On a collegiate yes. academic level. Right. I love We're it. Excited. So talk to us about the ministry, how we got started, what's the premise, and how we get involved. All right. I'm going to let my wife uh, do that part. Ladies first. Yes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I mentioned earlier, there, the passing of our son. With all of the deaths that we had had in our families, his mother, my mother, his sister, my sister, mm -hmm. but the death in our fathers and other mm -hmm. relatives, but the death of our son struck. He's done many funerals and we, you know, participated in all of that, but it didn't hit until our son passed. It became devastating. It was a uh, trauma it was just hurting pain it was pain yeah painful so we had to get to a place and, and and i'll just make the story short we had to get to a place with the lord to do for healing and out, out of all the days that we prayed together and cried together and wonder what did we do wrong and you know guilt sex in mm -hmm. and a lot of things happened but got to a place where we went into a, what they call a silence. Mm -hmm. We got with the Lord apart. And I found that that was when my healing took place, is that I surrendered myself unto the Lord. And because I was upset, sure. I was upset. Sure. It was an instant death. Mm -hmm. We had talked to him the day before. And not the day before, we, we had are. talked to him three hours right. prior. prior. Mm -hmm. And we got a call from uh, where he was mm -hmm. and said he was dead. But you know, we can receive it. No, no, right. we went through a lot of stuff. Just you got me wrong. You yes. got me wrong. Not it's it. called denial. Yeah, well, denial. Yeah. Denial, that's the word. And I was in denial. So once we had to go to identify, and I saw for myself, then you become angry, you mm -hmm. hurt, you all the stages all of grief. Yes, mm -hmm. the many mm -hmm. stages of grief. So finally during the prayer hour, I surrender myself. I just went on my own. He had his own uh, suffering to do. So I did. So I got to a place with the Lord that I asked him to to give me the inner peace that I needed. And and I prayed until he did that. Of course, I want you to understand, it took a while. I'm sure. Because you know what? God knows when you're ready. Yes. I wasn't ready. I was asking on my knees. Uh -huh. But then when I would get up, I would try to figure out, what did I do wrong? What, what can we do? How can we say this? How can we get through this? But only God, only, only God can bring you through. And so after many days of praying and, and surrendering myself to him, uh, my husband always had a prayer request, and I'll tell you this quickly. He had prayer requests, and I really, really loved it because it would be in his love offering envelope, and the prayer request would be in there. So he asked us that day to, if there's anything that's bothering you, to make that prayer request known on the paper and drop it at the altar. Mm -hmm. Well, I couldn't write it. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. You weren't ready. So I did write it. 
So I finally wrote it, but I couldn't get up. Oh. So I finally got up. Okay. And I came to the altar. I know it had to have been the Holy Spirit. I couldn't drop it, but it fell. Mm. And when he, it fell, I will tell this to the day I die, that I felt like God had just given me a transformation. Mm. My whole body. I ran around in the church. I felt as light as a feather. I knew he had delivered me. Absolutely. And from that day to this very day, I don't have that happiness. Because mm. we don't try to act like, put his picture in a, in a, in a, in a drawer mm -hmm. or nothing. I have a plan. It's still living. After seven years, it's been seven years. And him so, living right And here. him living in my heart and in Amen. our hearts. We, all the birthdays and all these things, we remember that yeah. because you can get down. Now, we, I think about him every day because I have a plan. I have to water that plant. I talk to the plant. Nothing wrong. I'm not crazy. Oh, no. I talk to my son, yes. and that's the plan. And I see his picture, and I just wave at him and keep going. Yes. He is with but you. But this is how this ministry started. And after we start coming to church and praising the Lord and just be grateful for what God had done in our lives. People were watching us. Mm -hmm. How you all going to be so content? And your son just passed. And we had to start sharing yes. that you have to give it over to God. You have to. If you don't give it to him, you, you hope. Now, your love for your loved one is deep. The depth of your love determines how you grieve. That's right. So we love them. But we not can't love him like there is no hope. So that is hope, and it's in Jesus. You see what I was telling you about? <laughs> yeah, and I see why you had her to tell. I let her tell the, the story. <laughs> and you can't okay. see and him listen, looking at you. And listen, and it's so loving. And, and listen, and and the reason why the ministry is, is the title of ministry is, is, is that it is is because it's God's relief mm -hmm. in every family. That's why we got that. So and so what's the full name? God's Relief. It's J. E. Wade Ministries Inc. Mm -hmm. com. But the title of the ministry is God's Relief in Every Family. Which spells grief. God's Relief. The acronym. That's the acronym. It does. God's yeah. Relief. Wow. And when we were talking and saying, where were we going to hold this interview? I was like, no, no, let's go to the church. And now I'm just <laughs> sitting in here like, I'm getting a word right here on a Wednesday prior to Bible study. I, I mean, and I'm just so engrossed in the story. And I'm sure many of you who are watching, if you're just tuning in, I am with the Wades, my new friends. The, the spirit, the connection here is so strong. And despite the tragedy that this rolls out of, there are so many accomplishments that you have made that the average individual won't do. Right. As far as writing a book, starting right. a ministry, and then going further to commit right. in consistency. Yes. Right. Yes. Because on a daily basis, I see small business owners and all types of people saying, I'm going to do this. Right. And they get started and then they stop. Right. But what right. I'm hearing from you, First Lady, Pastor, that this is ingrained right and now it's growing yes. and right. now we're going to ivy tech which is one it's of my getting ready to explode it's getting ready to explode you heard <laughs> that's the what i want you to know it's, we feel that god has, has has revealed to us this ministry is getting ready to explode yes. it's been moving and step by step god has just continued to yes. let our ministry yes. grow and now and now it's time yeah. for the explosion and let me tell you the connection, Pastor. You okay. said Ivy Tech. There's somebody in this sanctuary, I'm going to look around, who happens to be a student at Isn't Ivy that Tech. Right oh, now. we're just so Wonderful. excited about that. The connection. <laughs> the yes. connection. God is has like, a way. He, he does, doesn't he? He, he does. gives confirmation. Yes, he does. And that's confirmation with this young lady here in the sanctuary yes. connected yes. with yes. Ivy Tech. Yeah, probably got homework due right now. Wow. Oh, Amen. Wow. Amen. I'm, Listen, my response is, wow. Wow. <laughs> so tell us about the expansion and how Ivy Tech folds into this. How will that work, Pastor? Uh, we have been blessed uh, to be accepted at Ivy Tech. We're excited about that. Right. Uh, and we want to thank God for the chancellor. Uh, thank God for Keisha White. Okay. And all of those who are sharing with us, and giving us the opportunity yes. uh, to be at Ivy Tech. And we're launching at Ivy Tech our grief manual. Mm. Our grief manual. Mm -hmm. This has been six years in the making. Yes. 
we were at Indiana Western at one time, mm -hmm. but now we're going to be at East Chicago and in Gary. And my wife can tell you she's good at this, not me. I always okay. tell I always <laughs> tell people her strength, and she has some tremendous strengths. That's why we're where we are today. And she's going to tell us tell us first of all what our mission is really about, okay. and mission. then give okay. us the dates. And we'll be at Ivy Tech. And then we'll talk a little bit about the manual. How's all right. That? All right. Yeah, that's I'm going to good. read the mission. Please read the church announcement. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The mission of the J. Wade Ministry, Inc. is to give guidance through a healthy recovery process. Mm -hmm. We do so by applying biblical principles, procedures, and practice through practical experiences and the word of God. Right. We are passionate and dedicated to the operation of elevating and lifting the hearts of those who feel hurt, helpless, hopeless due to grief. Where were you <laughs> when I lost my mother? Wow. That's all I keep thinking about. Wow. Oh gosh. Because like you said, we grieve differently. Yes. yes. And when we don't have I mean, resources, yeah. guidance to explain why am I feeling like this? Yes. Why am I angry? Yes. And, and yes. what questions we have. And so this is so needed and I'm sorry for that. That's okay. okay. This is why we have this ministry. Yes, it it's is. It's key because a lot of people we found, we have what we call closet grievers. Right, right. They grieve in silence. And we just keep going. And we just keep on yes, going. And, 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 and listen, together. let me say this to those who are listening. And whenever we ask people, how are you doing after grief? They say, I'm doing okay. We know they're not telling the truth. Yep. Because that's a right. rehearsed response. Yes, it is. It's practice. We're, we're taught. We're called, it's called intergenerational trauma. Mm -hmm. Where we stay and we remain silent because we're told not to share it. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. okay. I'm not okay. Right. right. And that's it's okay to say I'm to not say. okay. I'm that's not okay. why that's it's true. good to say I'm not okay. That's right. So Pastor, with the Ivy Tech partnership, is it will it be a class format where you'll be teaching? Is that how it's, it works? It's going to be a class it? format. Mm -hmm. And uh, my wife can give you the date, especially the launching on the 13th. Right. Okay. Then she can give you right. the other dates, but on the 13th we'll be launching this book, this okay. manual. It's called A Grief Manual, and I want people to get that I book. This I, I, want you, I want people to have this book. I want people to have this book. And uh, you want me to talk about how much it is? It's 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 twenty five dollars. Oh, that's right. so it's, only cost. Cost. it's only twenty five dollars. It's only twenty five dollars. And that that book is going to be taught, and then we'll have some other supplementary materials. But yesterday, something really happened. What happened? Huh? We're partnering with another lady who deals with traumatic, traumatic trauma. Okay. And she's going to be partnering with us to help us along with my wife and I, what we're doing. We're not going to try to do this alone. Okay. No, no. We're bringing a team. Oh, yes. For yeah. Ivy Tech, we're bringing a team. And then Ivy Tech, the president and the vice president have agreed to allow us to use some of the students as a part of the team. Oh, that's oh, going to wow. be amazing. I love, <laughs> love, love me some Ivy Tech. Oh, I love Keisha Loud oh, White oh, is a great yes, friend yes. of mine. The Chancellor is yes. a friend of mine. And so this all makes sense that we have been connected together because yes. this is a resource that, you know, and, and sometimes God will have our pain to yes. be a lesson to others. Yes. Right. Yes. And this is a perfect example yes. of that. You are going to help so many people. And your son is so proud. Yes. Oh so God. happy. I, I just feel it. I think it. he's looking down. I'm, oh. sure, I'm sure of it. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. of it. Yeah. So let's talk about the 13th. I'm done enough crying <laughs> for all of us. Just met them today. Get it together, okay. Wendy. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll be at Ivy Tech College. East Chicago campus. Mm -hmm. These are the dates of the East Chicago campus. In okay. case somebody don't know the address. Mm -hmm. 410 East Columbus Drive. And each class will be on a Thursday. Okay. And each class will be at 7 o'clock p.m. 7 p.m. All right. Beginning Thursday, October the 13th. That's our first opening. Okay. So that's at Ivy Tech. All of these dates that I'm going to give you now will be for East Chicago. Okay. Then I'll give you the Gary campus. All right. We're listening. All right. I already told you about October the 13th. Then we have November the 3rd, and we have December the 1st, January the 5th, 
February the 2nd and March the 2nd. That's the semester. Isn't that beautiful? That is beautiful. And so <laughs> six weeks. Six, weeks. six yes. weeks. And it seems like with the exception of the 13th that it's a, a, the first Thursday of each month, right? Because you said the third, November the third, December the it's the first it's the third first Thursday. First Thursday. Not of every yes, of every pretty month. much you know with why? the exception because of October. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. And so yes. they need to enroll and come to all six yes. courses. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Now, obviously, because it's one course, they don't have to be enrolled in the university. No, no. Okay. No. I just want to make that right, clear. Right, right. <laughs> It's a, for the community, right. and so they pay for the course. They pay for the course, and they can go through the course, mm -hmm. and they can reach out to Ivy Tech to do that, or do they do that through you? Through How us. Through oh, us. Okay. Everything is coming through the through J.E. Wade Ministries. A books, whatever you need, whoever needs books, we be glad to give them my telephone number. Okay, or email. All right. Well, you can give it now because I'm going to repeat it later in the broadcast. <laughs> okay. What's your telephone number? Two one nine six eight two. 8402. I have them stored in. Oh, wow. <laughs> I stored you in my phone. That's why I called you today. I know that. But yes, and then what email address can they reach out to you? M-R-S-E-L-L-A-H-O-D-G-E-W-A-D-E -L -L -E 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 at Yahoo. Ella Hodge Wade. Ella Hodge Wade. Okay. At Yahoo. At yahoo.com. I'll make sure that we share that. I am so excited about this. And now you want to give the Gary dates. The Gary dates are, and that address is 3491 Broadway. And it's on Thursday, October the 27th, November the 17th, December the 1st. They will combine. Gary and East Chicago will combine, but they will be in East Chicago. Okay. That's on the 1st of December. Okay. February, January the 19th, February the 16th, and March the 16th. All right. And does, Those all, are the this, do, does all this information live on your website? It will be on It there. will be on the website. And we also is, will have pluggers, and we will pluggers. have that on, <laughs> on the uh, website mm -hmm. and on the Facebook Live. And we have other people that and are YouTube. And YouTube. We're going to do all of that, right? And right. I'm going to right. help you because oh, this indeed it. is... Just something that we probably don't think that we need. Right. We don't recognize right. that we need it. We just say, I'll be all right. Yeah, and my okay. mother died. No, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. And I'm not okay. And my mother left this earth 21 years ago, and it, it feels is. like yesterday. I know. It is. It feels yes. just like yes. it just yes. happened. And, and I her think testimony about her is so strong. Yes. That's yes. why I let her tell that testimony because oh, it's so yeah. powerful. Yes. From yes. a mother's perspective. Indeed. And I yes. just get this whole motherly spirit from you <laughs> and everything of comfort. Yes, yes. I do. Yes. And, um, Pastor, you got to tell me, uh, will we be able to call you Professor Wade? Is that what we're doing now? No, just still call me. I'm still, I'm still Pastor Wade, Reverend Dr. J.C. Wade, Jr. I, I still made that title. And I just love it when you call me Pastor Wade or Pastor Emeritus. I just love that. I love it too. Now you have in your possession other books that you have written prior yes. to, and yes. I would be remiss if I did not mention these accomplished authors. So can you give me the names of your other books so that as we Google you and want to support you, we can support with your other publications? Uh -huh. I'll be first, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Mine, the book I have is called Not Too Early, Not Too Late. This is a book that was born out of my retirement. Oh. And uh, it's very important that pastors, churches, and people as a whole would understand retirement. There are so many churches that really go through, uh, it, it's a sad uh, statement, but a lot of, that's not nice. Mm -hmm. Can I say it like that? Yes. It's just not, it's not good. Mm -hmm. This book will help you in the transition when a pastor passes or when a pastor retires, it will help churches in retirement. Then it will help individuals yes. who, who, who don't understand, we can't be there forever. We're in denial. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to retire. As a pastor, yes. as a person, it's okay to retire. Yes. But you also have what I call a post-retirement life. Okay. You cannot just retire Go home and sit down. This book will help you, you where mm -hmm. you will not mm -hmm. go home and just sit down. Okay. You can retire, 
and you can still be active. Still yes. be in the venue. Yes. Still okay. be in the venue. I like okay. that. I you like, like that? that? Oh, I love that. I can tell as um, active and spry and just energetic as the two of you are that retirement is just a word. It's a word. It is. It's, it's just a word. word. Yeah, enjoying ourselves. And so how can they get that? Not can, too early. They can not get too that late. from Pastor and Sister Wade the same way you okay. get that book. We are the distributors. We have learned that we need to handle our own business. Yes. Hey, man, now you preach. Yes. Listen, you need to start. At, at, at first, that we would not handle it. But now we oh. have an advisory board. We okay. have an advisory board. And yes. this board told us, start handling your own business. Mm -hmm. okay. And mm -hmm. so this is what we started doing. And I'm thankful with this Ivory advisory board. They are such a, a tremendous help. Now, my wife can tell you about her you. book All that right. was born out of a ministry that the Lord gave us yes. while I was passing here at Zion. All right. My book is entitled Simple Steps to Reach Each Child Now. Simple Steps to Reach Each Child Now? Now. So you're covering retirement and you're covering the children. children. All right. This book. Keep holding it up. Keep holding it okay. <laughs> my marketer is here. <laughs> um, this book is precious to me yeah. mm -hmm. and precious to us and precious to this church. In 1982, we had about 10 or 11 children in church. And uh, Pastor Wade had a vision mm -hmm. for a 100 boys children's choir. Of course, he asked Mrs. Wade mm -hmm. to be over the children's choir. Well, we <laughs> know you <laughs> wouldn't say but, that. But let me take this little insert. She's been with me in music since my very first church in 1961. That's true. Isn't that amazing? That is beyond When I had my very amazing. first church, she was my musician in 1961. So it only made sense, It right? only made sense. Okay, Pastor, I'm with you. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, in 82, uh, for the growth of the church and for children, and we saw so many children out of church. And so Pastor Wade and I... Uh, after he told me, I prayed and said, yes, yes, we'll do this. Mm -hmm. And I am want to tell you that the way the Lord blessed is amazing. Mm -hmm. Because we would go in the snow, knee deep, we would go in the heat, 100 degrees. It didn't make any difference in the rain. We would go knock on doors every Saturday. Right. Just the two of us. Because it's your beginning. Mm -hmm. And people have to see what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. We did that for several months. And then finally, the members start watching us do it. They start joining. Right. They start joining. And, and finally, in 84, we had 104 children. Amen. 104. The That's ministry, a lot of young people. But we're not finished. Okay. And we had about 15 workers, mm -hmm. ladies, and even a couple of men who joined us to be a part. Out of this ministry, let me tell you what, there was no child that didn't. Tell them when I retired, how many children you had? Well, let me get, can I, I tell this first? Them. Okay. I just <laughs> love to tell this part first. <laughs> tell me this part. <laughs> because in this ministry, we set up a closet, mm -hmm. a room, for any child who couldn't get the uniform or the parent couldn't get the uniform, we had it there. From shoes, socks, everything everything that they needed, mm -hmm. bow ribbons, everything that a girl and a boy would need, still, we had it. Mm -hmm. That room is still there today. Mm -hmm. And so this this is how this ministry grew. And it, it got to be 167 yeah. children. That's a lot of young That's a small school. A hundred, and, and they didn't only learn how to sing, we taught them the Bible. Mm, right. We taught them everything that they needed to know, even about uh, uh, how to treat each other. Everything we taught them, they had to go to Sunday school. Right. They had to be in Sunday school to be in children's choir. Right. Right. And I have that to tell you, before, while you were away off camera, uh, Pastor Wade and I were talking, and I was just saying my appreciation I grew Grew up, and I still attend Trinity Missionary Baptist Church in Gary. Right. Okay. And under the leadership of the late uh, Reverend W.H. Thomas. Mm -hmm. And I just appreciated the upbringing, the rearing, the old right. school mm -hmm. uh, rules of, yes, we had to go to Sunday school. Yes. And yes, I learned how to speak to my 
peers and my teachers with respect because of what I learned in That's church. Right. Right. And learned. it carried over right. into the school and not vice versa. Right. 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 And I can't speak on that as much today. Thank you, Pastor. I'll just leave it at that. And we're going to leave it at that. Too. Yes, sir. And you know what? And every <laughs> Tuesday will be children's rehearsal, mm -hmm. 530 to 7. It's still today. Our daughter, our daughter does it today from 530. Now the pandemic is here, has mm -hmm. happened. Mm -hmm. And, of course, the children are a little scattered. But but they're back, coming back we're again. We're coming yeah. back because now. Because she's working hard to yeah. do this. And this is what it takes. Yeah. This is what it takes. So what did you want me to tell them? The 167? That's, that's what I was that's waiting That's the hard part. I was listening. 167 children. Well, I keep her on message. That's, I, thank, you so, you. thank you so kindly. And, that's why we love you but, already. <laughs> but I think you also want me to say the day that he retired. Okay. 2010 mm -hmm. is when he retired. Mm -hmm. We retired. Mm -hmm. And they were all here. Oh. In fact, we had a reunion. Right. Of the, and there are the reunion of the parents oh. and the grandparents. That's it. That. And the church was packed. That's a beautiful Oh, my moment. God. It was just breathtaking. Oh. Well, listen. So we're grateful. We thank you. You're just so precious. Oh, and I'm, thank and, and, you. And, 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 and I'm say, I have an aunt <laughs> who passed away, and uh, uh, she used to say, yeah. my Aunt Agnes, when everyone would do something special for her, what would she tell you? Oh, oh you're so sweet. You're so that's sweet. what I'm talking uh -huh. about. <laughs> oh, that's it. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. <laughs> and that's what we've learned about you. But then oh, what does so she sweet. say when you do something extra? Uh oh. What did she say? You're doubly sweet. You're doubly, <laughs> doubly sweet. Well, I will tell you now that I have the full story of this ministry and what how it's getting ready to explode. I am. I, I am obligated. I am obligated to help share the word with my followers, my friends, my church family. Yes, thank you. So that thank they you. can get in on this good ministry. This is what they say, good stuff All right, right here. Right. You're just tuning in. <laughs> I have been chatting with Pastor Emeritus Way, his beautiful first lady, Miss Ella, and it's on. Ivy Tech, get ready. October 13th is the launch of the grief courses. Tell me the acronym again of what grief stands for. God's, God's relief, relief in, in every, every family. family. God's relief in every family. If you want more information, please make sure you follow their page, J.E. Wade Ministries, Inc. And also, jewadeministriesinc.com is the website. I'll be sharing information and I have a publication that I put out every other Friday okay. electronically. Okay. Mm -hmm. All of this will be in here. All the books, the links, everything. So if you missed it, I will run it back. Oh, you say. Right. Rewind. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank this you. is too important. Thank you. And I want to say congratulations. I'm just going to say professors. It just sounds good. <laughs> professors Wade um, for this endeavor that God is going to bless you yes. really good. Yes. And thank you. Thank you for being faithful. Yes. Because there are some who have turned their backs on God because right. they're yes. angry yes. Right. when he plucks his flowers yes. to put them in his garden. Yes. That's the way I grapple That's with it. my yes. mother's death. They say that God loves his beautiful.